Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality, back with more Minecraft. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're gonna make stuff happen this, this episode. Um, we were doing some heavy scouting around uh, off camera, and um, we found a fortress. The uh, fortress has been had, and we'll be getting to it so we can explore it more in depth. But, you know, since we had some lingering blazes trying to guard it, um, you know what, I can't be held accountable for making sure they didn't kill me and collecting their rods, so we can actually do some stuff with these. Uh, and we will. So, first thing on the agenda, one of the first things on the agenda, um, we have that villager to sort of, I don't need two day tags, uh, we have that villager to contend with, uh, and we need a name tag, so once we get him back to human status, um, we want to make sure he stays around forever. So... Anvil's a little worse for wear, so we may need to make another one soon. But for now, that shouldn't really matter too much. Uh, okay, potions. Um, we can actually get started on this now. Um, we just need to convert our blaze rods. And you know what? We'll take half of what we have here. Uh, just in case. But you can convert blaze rods to... I don't even need a crafting table for this. Every rod will create two blaze powders, so we'll just do all that here. And you need the blaze powders for fueling your brewing stand. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, let's yeah. let's just take all. Since we see that it's sort of have has something in there, um, we know it's active. Uh, so we'll get three bottles of water. I'm probably going to need more fairly soon. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, uh, we need to make these splash potions. So potion making is pretty simple if you know the fundamentals. Um, uh, basically what I do is I find myself a picture of the uh, brewing template uh, online because it just makes things that much simpler for me. So um, you always want to brew through three potions at a time because that's the maximum of water bottles you can hold. And then whatever you are sort of putting in here will sort of um, brew in your water bottles or whatever you have at the time. So we'll put in our gunpowder. As you can see, it's sort of taking off here. We'll let do, that do its thing. Because uh, the next step, we need a fermented spider eye. And you can get that by just combining spider eyes, brown mushrooms, and sugar. All of which we have. Oh, looks like our brewing is done. So yeah, now that that has been completed, all that gunpowder did was turn our three uh, water bottles into splash water bottles, which means we can throw these for offensive effects. So the next step is to add a ferment fermented spider eye, and that will create an awkward potion. Sorry, no. The nether wart makes an awkward potion. This will make it a potion of weakness, which is all we need. So yeah, that's right. Uh, this was just a two-step process. We needed a potion of weakness for throwing at the zombies. Uh, and then once they're weak, we um, give them a golden apple. So we'll go over that in a moment. So 
there you go. After a little bit, potion of weakness um, for a minute and seven. You know what? Like I said, that's pretty much all we need. Even if we get splashed with the effects, A, it won't be that bad, and B, it won't really matter in the uh, in the room that we have sort of set up for ourselves. So we'll just get those in order. And just to give you an idea of what regular potions we'll be making, since we're here and we're, we're discussing potions already, um, we got our three water bottles. We're going to keep them as regular water bottles because we want to take the effects of whatever it is we're doing here. Um, and that's where nether work comes in. That's why we were sort of glad to have picked this up at the Piglin Bastion. Uh, I'll sort of show you guys my um, nether wart farm or yeah it's a farm uh, but nether wart is basically for uh, the first ingredient you need for all your sort of brewing or potion needs uh, because it will create the awkward potion and then from the awkward potion uh, you can create uh, your vast other potions as need be. Um, so let me just check because uh, I'm going to use the magma cream just so that we can create some potions of fire resistance and after that oh, potion is ready. Uh, redstone will be added to the mix to um, prolong its duration. So there's our awkward potions so we're going to use a magma cream as our step number two. All right, potion of fire resistance, but the fire resistance only lasts for three minutes. So let's add a redstone and we'll come back to that in a moment uh, because we still need a couple more things before we go back out, down into the mines. Uh, we have been saving this lectern for a while. And, because we're kind to our villagers, um, we're going to give them a bed too. Uh, they need beds to sort of sleep and rejuvenate and do whatever. Alright, so here we go. Uh, potions of fire resistance now last for 8 minutes. So we're going to grab them, because why wouldn't you use redstone to sort of power up your potions as needed? So that's what uh, these barrels have been sort of created for. Uh, we'll get some of our potions in there and we'll put that one in there as well. All right, we're almost ready to go down stairs. Just that we keep our golden apples in here. And I'm just going to grab two just in case, but one should be more than enough. And let's head on downstairs. So I've made this room and had some doors. Uh, I showed you guys the uh, basalt generator that we made, but I created this little cavern. And here is our nether wart farm. Decorated up nice. More, more or less like how I had uh, set up the um, the pods in the nether for our base, uh, but rotated the bricks around, uses, used some um, blackstone, um, the nether brick as your side, and then because I had the basalt generator right beside me, uh, why not do that as well? Uh, also got the gilded blackstone just because I got a couple pieces out from that bastion. So. This has been going nicely, you just sort of leave it alone, and like any crops, um, once it comes to full maturity, um, gather it and you'll get like two or three stacks rather than just the one. Replant and you're set for all your potion brewing needs. Uh, but now, now is the time, the moment of truth. We are going to get a new friend and he will be our friend for a very long time. Uh, I added the two-step because I don't want him going away anytime soon. 
Hello, you. I'll just take that. Come on. All right, we'll. Uh, <laughs> okay. Like I said, yeah, we're hit too, but you know what? Don't care. Because <gasps> once you give him the golden apple, his uh, particle effects will turn red. He'll start shaking. And we know that it's working. So we just have to wait out until he is fully cured. And then he'll be our friend. And we will, uh, we will get him giving us some really good stuff. Hello, Mr. Villager. Happy to see you. You can now join the land of the living. Primarily us. So we have a name tag ready because we want to make sure that he sticks around for a while. So here's Bert. Bert, we're going to give you a bed. Uh, and then we're going to give you an occupation. And this is the whole purpose. Oh. oh, what happened? What happened? All right. What are you? You are an armorer. Hmm. Which means there's a crafting table nearby, probably from our sort of base underneath here. So you know what? Let's let's just quickly go over here and make sure that none of these uh, I can't tell what might be here that uh, he doesn't like or that he needs. So we're going to grab a couple of these things here, just so he doesn't take maybe this. We don't want him to take those types of jobs. We want him to specifically take the librarian job. So now that those tables have gone away, yeah, it looks like he's taken the lectern job. So now comes the game of cat and mouse where we need to have him give us the um the mending book uh as his level one trade um <laughs> bert's kind of funny uh, not gonna lie but let's get the lectern He'll lose the job, he'll retake it, and he may get other stuff. Okay, so this may take some time in order to finally sort of get what we want. But it is a trial and process, and he will sort of get what you want eventually. Uh, it's just a matter of whether you're lucky or not. Smite five. Okay.
Okay, guys, I think we finally done, done it. Oh, it's been a little bit of a trek working with this villager, but I believe he'll give us the thing we want now. So if we click on him, he has a book, an enchanted book for sale for novice level. And if we go under it, come on, mending one. That's all we need from him. Oh, you can see how much of my iron axe I've worn out just taking out that lectern and replanting it hoping that this gentleman will give me the book I need um, but now <laughs> looks like mission successful so um, we'll sort of take our leave that lectern will stay in its place we can't ever remove it for fear of him losing that particular job uh, ooh hello we're going to just shoot you dead. Thank you. Ow. Ow. And we're going to hack you dead. All right. <laughs> so now that we got him, what we got what we want on him, let's head topside because we got some books to enchant and some paper to sell. Uh, but before we get there, uh, we're just going to make sure that we just replant all the stuff we need here now that he's taken a job and we're not going to make him forget it we can uh, put all our stuff back here <laughs> all right so give me a moment to get myself myself my stealth situated situated my stealth sit situated um, but we'll be back downstairs uh, to do our first transactions with good old Bert Okay, Bert, let's make a deal. Uh, so we only need to sell 19 pieces of paper for an emerald. Oh, we forgot to get more emeralds, but I don't think that will be a problem. We did, that's why we did bring down the paper. So let's start trading. At the very least, we'll get him back up to the next level. We can sell a book for an emerald too. But why do we want to sell a book when this is what we want? So, uh, perfect. Thank you, sir. Yep, you leveled up, and we're going to get you to level five, master. Um, <laughs> we're not. We're not going to question your ways, there, Bert. You do you. Uh, okay, so this is sort of going to be the key to, uh, to all sorts of good stuff uh, going into the future now. So, uh, first step we're going to do, uh, there is a particular pickaxe that uh, needs a whole lot of love and attention. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it gets the mending uh, enchantment achievement. Uh, and then once it gets mending, we'll see if uh, we can uh, make it netherite as well. So there's our lovely, lovely pickaxe. Let's take it over here. So fortune unbreaking efficiency. Us too. Let's just make sure. Yep, everything looks like it's lining up in place, so let's do the deed. I am liking that. Alright, so for mending, let's. 
head downstairs. Uh, we're gonna drop the rest of our books in here. Uh, eventually, we're gonna do up the rest of the. We're gonna do up the diamond armor uh, once we sort of verify other um, enchantments. <laughs> once we have the set that we want, um, we'll place mending on everything, and then we'll infuse it with netherite. Why did I find more? And I am finding a little bit more. Oh, hello there. Alright, well, you guys um, just s <laughs> sort it out. Uh, Alright, let's get our farm going here. And we'll see if we can get our diamond pickaxe. Alright, so now when the experience points drops from enemies, uh, it doesn't have to drop from enemies. It can be like if I'm mining particular ores. Whatever I would gain experience from, it's now going to my equipped tool. Nice. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can just sort of mend it back to full health using our farm here. And once it does, which hopefully shouldn't take too long, it is unbreaking as well, so it's not taking as much durability damage as regular tools would be. Um, but once this is done, then we'll see about infusing netherite to it, and we'll make it a netherite pickaxe. With fortune 3 and efficiency and unbreaking and mending. So we finally got the pickaxe to where we want, which is full durability. Let's get ourselves one of these. One of. Stupid sticking button. We don't need all of them. Uh, and we'll empty up some of our pocket space as well. plus a netherite ingot will create a netherite pickaxe. Uh, and yes, we want to do this. So, now we have our ultimate pickaxe. Um, I, depends on what kind of enchantments you are looking for for your mining goods, but I don't think we can get any better than this. And nor will I attempt to try. So, um, we're going to start uh, playing around with uh, our, our mending vendor and seeing what we can do in terms of getting us some good offensive weapons as well. Um, I would like to try getting a 
Uh, trident off one of the drowned. Uh, they tend to be good weapons, and you can definitely put mending on that, and it will be your best friend forever. But uh, uh, maybe for another episode. For now, um, we've dilly dallied in the Nether long enough. Let's uh, let's hit ourselves a fortress. Uh, we need to get ourselves more blaze rods because we need to turn our Ender pool pearls pools our Ender pools. Uh, our pearls into actual eyes of ender because um, that is the next main ingredient for the end um, just deciding what I need uh, and I don't think we need max okay so let's jump right in Netherite stacks are getting pretty full here, so I've started creating, um, I'll create more offsets for more chests. Uh, we'll turn most of that uh, netherrack into nether bricks, but for now um, we'll use it for some of the stuff that we're going to be doing in the fortress. Uh, if we need a quick building block, it is good for that purpose. Uh, but I don't think there's anything else we might need. Uh, you know, we're not meeting much piglins in the area. Uh, I didn't know if we had any cobblestone. We might need that as well. Yeah, we can always bring more cobblestone from the overworld if we need it. Okay, let's start our journey and I did actually create uh, once I got the coordinates for the fortress I did make ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a direct tunnel to it uh, hopefully it won't be too too hard to navigate but it will take some walking to get there uh, so um, if I was to point to it it is somewhere over yonder um, I didn't want to traverse the lava ocean every single time we wanted to go to the fortress, which is why I'm opting to use um, use an underground method, I guess you could call it. So we created this staircase that hopefully shouldn't go away. And we started an offshoot tunnel going here. Um, it was hard to sort of get everything going because I would always hit particular lava pockets that would just sort of fill in my uh, another blasting area. Since I've gotten to um, depth 11, I may start blasting again for um, ancient debris. Uh, but for now, um, we'll get to that eventually. I, like, I can look for that stuff off camera and then from, once we're ready to uh, create some some armor we'll create an episode for that but uh, here's my tunnel to the fortress just down here shouldn't be long now and wherever those guys are they shouldn't be near me <laughs> And we finally made it to the end of the tunnel, but it's not quite here yet. Made myself a little bit of uh, lava fountain there. Uh, don't fall in. <laughs> it's kind of deep as well. Uh, and a little baby, uh, baby zombified piglin. But we'll leave him alone. So we just have to off skirt a little bit. Come up here. And we are still in some sort of ocean area. It doesn't really connect to the one uh, by our base, but there it is. At least that's one of the walls. Um, fortresses are quite large. So we'll 
carved this out just to sort of navigate around that lava pool. Yeah, lit up the way so I know which way I need to go. Uh, and then we go up, but not too far because I've sort of marked myself of where I would need to go and try to shortcut myself down this way. Come on. Because just down here is a little bit of a resting spot. This is probably the closest sealed area and I may just swap out the netherrack for something a little bit more sturdy so it doesn't get blasted by ghasts. Um, something just so that I can if I needed to dump here and then go back into the fortress, I can do that. Uh, we're now on the other side of that lava pool. Got some stairs going up. And there she is. I said some of the guests are been. Uh, Wither skeletons, but they can't come out. Of a hole that is less than three blocks high. So, uh, first thing on the agenda, we may light it up a little bit just until we get an idea of what's going on here. We also don't want to traverse too far where we're going to be. Ooh. Oh, that was a guest. Oh, oh, now he sees us. And maybe I should have brought my bow, but. So we'll create some of these pillars just to keep uh, the wither skeletons from bombarding us. So they won't be able to fit under there so we can take them out at range. Uh, everything else should be fine. And we will need to make more torches up here because uh, it gets awfully dark. Now at some point I can probably make myself uh, potions of uh, potions of seeing in the dark. Uh, but it looks like we're about to reach. Uh, just keep an ear out for stuff around. Because you may get some nasties in here. Oh, there's a blaze that spawned in right behind us. These are what's going to give you those blaze rods. Any for me yet? Not quite. Uh, so we'll use these intersections to sort of make sure we know which way to go and I'm actually going to leave a, a torch inside just so I can direct myself back to where my exit is. But now that we know this place is safe I can sort of get some of my torches back and we can carry on. Now, if you were in the need for nether, nether wart, this is also a good place to get it because these are nether wart farms that you'll find inside these fortresses. Um, I can take everything right now, but you know what? 
uh, we got a good supply going on, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go crazy with uh, stealing their crops yet. Looks like there's a chest off there, so maybe we can grab it, see if we can get anything of interest. And another chest that way. Uh, I need to make myself more torches. Saddle's nice, but everything else is pretty useless. So we'll just take everything. And I'm lighting up as much as I can because I don't want to fall into a particular area where I'm going to be falling down into my death or um, finding any sort of other nasty surprises. Usually fortresses are nicely built and contained, but you still never know. It can uh, reach a, a dead end point that just drops off into death. Oh, lovely treasure you guys have here. This goes right to a dead end. Since we got the treasure that was in here anyway, um, we don't need to come back here. So we'll just get the light level down again. Eventually we will want to get uh, farming wither skeletons just for their skulls. Because uh, they are needed for another boss that we will get to after we complete the game. Let's just venture forth a little bit longer. Another chest, that's nice. Oh. Got more blazes around. Eventually we should happen towards a blaze farm. They are f fairly common in here. Grab our chest with all these goodies that we don't need. We don't want to touch them. Let's see if he comes chasing. I don't want to hit the zombified piglin. Um, I'm not too keen on making enemies of them, so... Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Some experience, but not getting any rods yet. There we go. I was about to say, we do have ourselves a... A fortune pick... Or, um... Fortune? Looting. Looting sword. Uh, <laughs> same as fortune for pickaxes, except uh, for getting cool enemy drops. Uh, so what do we have here? Alright, so this is what I mean. I don't think this will benefit us any, so... Let's just block it off so we don't wander into it and die. And venture a little bit further. Do we have another dead end? Looks like we do. That is going up. I don't know if it's 
There was a staircase here, wasn't there? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just a bunch of dead ends. It's dead end central here. Skeleton. Okay, just go up here quietly. ourselves on the top of the structure here. So you know what? Let's... Is that a down? No, that's just a, a 1D pit. There may be some stairs going down at another location, but so far... So far, nada. What we got here? Ah, oh, pit to death. Great. So you know what? It can remain. Junction here. There's going down. Okay, so that's fine. And over here. Hello. Ow. <sighs> All right. Death. Great. Great. can heat up and shoot if you want. I'm not interested. All I want from you is your rods. Four rods. Okay. Over here, it looks like we got a central room with lava in the center, which leads to outside. That's sort of what I expected. 
Uh, and then here comes some wither skeletons, but... Come on, come get me! Ah, uh, you can't. You can't. No wither skeleton skulls. Oh, but we still got blazes outside. Hi there! Hi there, my fiery friends! How are you? Oh, Give me your rods and... Deep cheeks! Skeleton! Uh, we've got quite the darkness going on outside, it seems. Let's just check this way quickly and then we'll regroup back at our our sort of sub base. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. I thought there might be a chest nearby. So let's just light the way. And then it goes to a dead end. Alright. Ugh, God. Not good. Ow, 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 ow! This is kind of bad. This is kind of bad. Oh, I'm right. Darn. Uh, excuse me, folks. Nothing to see here. Oh, lovely. You would think that I had just made those potions of fire resistance and <laughs> bring them with me. Just now. Uh, Alright, so we need to eat. Then we need to make sure we don't fall down that hole. Then let's grab this and head our way out. Uh, and we can take all the torches with us because we're not going to come down this way anymore. We'll try and remember that this was not very not very good path all right excellent we will do though we do want to make sure we come back here and just for the sake we can easily uh, dispatch wither skeletons from there. Hi. Do you not have more rods? Eh, nine rods, that's actually not bad. Okay. So yeah, like I said, let's, let's sort of regroup. Hello. Mm. Pigs make me nervous. Not because they, uh, well, only because they are, uh, oh, scary is not quite the word. They, they surprise us. Oh, ow, ow. I'm on fire! 
don't mean I'm playing NBA Jam. Oh, 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 oh. They're pretty deadly when they touch you too. But I don't mind taking some blaze rods. Hello, pig. Goodbye, pig. Let's head over to our sub base. Ah. anything gold so they're not happy with us. We're in gold. I'm gonna say because I don't wanna <laughs> getting a little dicey so let's quickly dash in here. there's anything I really want to keep here so you know what um, we're gonna have to sort of get into that fortress a little bit later as well so let's regroup back at our home base and we'll see if we have any time left to do any more dungeon exploring but uh, we're well on our way now um, we've gotten ourselves some blaze rods Nether Desians. So let's get back to home base and we'll reconvene there. Well, so much for regrouping. Uh, I thought we would have some time to make it back to the fortress and do some more stuff, but we're getting a little long for this episode, so maybe in a future episode. For now, we'll just sort of cut it here and. Uh, yeah, I think we've been busy enough this weekend. Um, if you enjoyed the video, drop me a like, leave me a comment, or subscribe to my channel. There'll be more mobile gaming goodness coming in the near future, and not only of the Minecraft variety either. Uh, until next time, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye now.